You know, there's uh, cryptocurrencies out there that I just haven't made any type of review on or gave my opinion on. And I wanted to do that. In my live stream today, which I had a seven hour live stream, um, I did an all nighter. I started at two in the morning technically and went until about nine ish. And I, I wanted to talk about Terra Luna Classic within that time period and talk about other cryptocurrencies as well, because you can't really spend seven hours talking about that one position. We were going through a proposal and typing up that proposal, but there was a lot more. And somebody brought up HBAR. I've seen many people that have brought up HBAR to me, and I just never really looked at it as a, a potential play, but I see people that are talking about it, and I see different price predictions, and I wanted to kind of get into it and just understand it from an investor's perspective, not really understand it from just a use case perspective, even though we are going to go through some pros and cons of HBAR as well in this video. Um but I feel as though I, I need to have some video talking about it. If you guys want me to continue to talk about this, let me know. I don't currently hold any H bar at the moment. And I can't say that I fully plan on doing it, but who knows? It all depends on what I see within this breakdown and even further beyond this. So guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more of these videos. Also, if you guys wanna check out some of the links down below, it does help out the channel. And if you want to check out, you know, my new credit card YouTube channel link will be in the cards. Feel free to check that out. Now, again, I've been like kind of hounded to talk about H bar before. This time it was more of like, hey, have you ever looked at the H bar? And when I see people that ask, you know, nicely and don't like hound me like the Vault Inu crowd, no offense, Vault Inu, but you need to not spam people. Um, when I see people ask nicely, I'm always like, yeah, you know what? I'll go ahead and do that and I'll look into it. And that's what I, I plan to do here is to go into it, see what it's, uh, you know, about look at the pros and cons as well as some price predictions behind it. This may be not really a full in depth, uh, breakdown. And if you want me to go into like full, like what it is and benefits that I see within it, if I'm going to purchase it by now versus not by now, all of that stuff, let me know. And, um, you know, we can go ahead and do that as long as I, you know, find a way to establish a position. Typically, I talk about positions that I establish some sort of position in. Um, but let's talk about this. So currently, if we uh, look at H bar on coin market cap, it's sitting at 1.23% up, 123% up. It's um, at about four cents, 4.7 cents. We're seeing it at a $1.6 billion market cap with $36 million worth of volume, which it, uh, technically is an increase of 66%. So typically we're not seeing a lot of volume. Popularity, I guess, is not 100% there at the moment, especially during this you know, kind of downtime or lull time in the market. Today is looking pretty bullish, but mainly looking bullish for Bitcoin um, and you know others. Um, but not, not everything, right? You're seeing Bitcoin's dominance rise, and we can get into that maybe in another story, but we're seeing that. Uh, currently, if we look at the overall circulating supply, we see 33 billion that is out there, 33.5 billion or 67% that's out there. Out of the 50 billion, it does have a max supply, so that's great. However, you do have a decent amount that you can end up diluting the overall position. Speaking of dilution, Right, the fully diluted market cap is a $2.3 billion market cap. Has it ever been to that point? So let's go and look at all history, and it has been to that point at about a $6 billion market cap. So no matter if it does get fully diluted, you know that you have the ability, ability to arise so much further, and that was in 2021 when everything really was running and came back, didn't really have the ability to stay up there at these levels because of the crypto market that was falling back around November of 2021 for pretty much everything. Thing. But it did hit a $6 billion market cap. So you're not really worried about the dilution portion of it because a 2.3, if you invested now, a $2.3 billion market cap, it will surpass that, you know, at these all time highs, even if it does, you know, add all of that supply, which essentially wouldn't give you as much of a gain as if they didn't add the supply. But if, you know, that supply is added, however, that the case may be, if that's, you know, the amount that's staked, I don't really know. Um, but however that is added, you know that you have growth above that point. So that's fantastic to see. 
Now, when it comes to dilution, has there been has there been any point in the past where they have been diluted? So if we look at the price, we've seen this at a $40 or sorry, 40 cent price. And here it was at about a 48 cent price. If we look at the uh, market cap and how that does shift right here, there was a big form of dilution between right here and here, because you can see the price that was at 40 cents um, compared to the 40 eight cents or so, or even right here, 44 cents, right? 40 to 44 cents. You're seeing this at a much lower market cap of about two, 2 billion versus the 6 billion that it is at here. So definitely saw some dilution there. And um, I wanted to see if there's any dilution here. It looks like there was a little bit more dilution somewhere around here as you see more coins that are added to the overall supply. However, once you hit max, things change and you don't really have any issues there. So and when it comes to potential, it shows that it has potential because it's up to a $6 billion market cap. It's up to a 40 cent price. You can look at a 10X return um, up to some of these all-time highs. That's if you fully believe in where it can go and it's not something that has fallen off a cliff, which it doesn't look like it has, still sitting at a $1.5 billion market cap. Now it's available in many different markets, so that's not something you're really worried about in the form of volume. Um, but uh, about what it is, just a brief understanding. Um, so I can't, I can barely see this, but HBAR is the most used sustainable uh, enterprise grade public network for the decentralized economy um, that allows individuals and businesses to create powerful decentralized applications or DApps. Uh, it is designed to be a fairer, more efficient system uh, that eliminates some of the uh, limitations. Um, that older blockchain-based platforms face, such as slow performance and instability, which is always a great thing. I want to scroll down here and look to see if they have, you know, kind of what makes it unique. Um, unlike most cryptocurrency platforms, um, you know, HBAR, uh, Hashgraph uh, isn't built on top of a uh, conventional blockchain. Instead, it introduces a complex or sorry, completely uh, novel type of distributed ledger technology known as a um, hash graph. This technology allows it to improve upon many blockchains based on alternatives uh, in several key areas, including speed, cost, scalability, uh, HG transactions, or uh, sorry, HG, um, HBARs transactions have an average uh, transaction fee of 0 0.000 cents. Uh, or 0001 cents, um, you know, USD, and typically reach um, uh, finality, I can't see that, in under uh, five seconds. Overall, uh, HBAR uh, Hashgraph claims it can handle more than 10,000 transactions per second, uh, compared to around five to 20, um, five to 20 for the most popular proof of work, uh, you know, based blockchains. Again, fantastic. Improving speed, improving cost, improving all of that stuff. That's absolutely fantastic. Let's look at some pros and cons that are coming from uh, sashares.co. So pros and cons of HBAR. HBAR achieves a high level of security even with many malicious actors on the network. That's not really a good sign that we do see malicious actors on the network at all and you have to even call that out. Um, that's not a great sign. Uh, HBAR Hashgraph is faster than Bitcoin, Ethereum, and several other blockchains as a result of transactions being processed in parallel. The platform supports same object orient uh, program, wait, programmed language, Solidity, which, used, which is used for smart contracts. Um, HBAR offers low fees and rapid transactions. Now some cons, um, a Hashgraph is not open sourced but uh, patented, interesting, and there are only 19 governors, which brings decentralization into question. So obviously, if you're a big fan of decentralization, which most people are that are in crypto, I would say that that's a big, um, you know, no, no, as you see, you know, different um, positions that you have that as a con. Now, just to get into some price predictions, because I want to kind of go all in and understanding where people believe changely usually has some more aggressive price predictions i'll say that um, but they have a price prediction here for 2023 a high price of about 6.5 cents uh, that's about a 35 percent um, roi potential roi over the current price if we look at 2024 the potential here for december is around 11 cents which would be 129 percent as in the current or compared to the current level where we are currently at 
If we look at 2025, we can see that about 15 cents is the high and average. We're looking at about 13 cents that's there. Uh, if we scroll all the way over, let's say to 2030, as we see the next, you know, seven years that happens or six years or whatever, you're looking at about a dollar of a high price, which would be a 1,983% um, return, which honestly isn't ridiculous. If we're talking about a bull market happening within 2024, 2025, who's to say that this won't get to a $33 billion market cap? Who's to say that, right? It looks like something that could be, that could have the strength and does have the support from a lot of people. So why not? Why is that not in there? Why are we not saying 2025, this is where the aggressive level is and making it more of like, not something that where everything is conservative, the low price, the middle price, the high price. Why is everything within there conservative when we know that cryptocurrency is going to be the future and potentially this could be something that does take over. So that's really my opinion. Will I end up purchasing it? It is on many platforms that I believe I can uh, purchase it, being Coinbase. If I wanted to purchase it right now, I could at four cents. And it's basically showing me the same maybe level of potential uh, potential that we could see with, um, you know, CRO because CRO, you know, being the highest exchange level coin, is sitting at about five cents. This is the same price, and it's uh, close to the same market cap basically. So. Honestly, it's not horrible, but I need to know a little bit more about it to basically say whether I'm going to end up purchasing it. Hey, who's to say that I won't end up having it by the time this video is posted? So guys, let me know what you think about HBAR if you are a big fan of it. Um, I don't know how this video is going to do. If it does do well and you want me to do more content on either the main channel or on this channel, we can always do that. But hit the like button, hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna get out of here and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.